Hi everyone and welcome back. This is a new mini playlist and in this playlist we are talking about how we can deploy a React package, a Node.js package and Nest.js package to the GitHub. So we are going to create our private packages like a Node.js library package, React UI component package and Node.js utility package and then we are going to use those utility packages in the external projects. So this is a mini playlist because I wanted to cover all these things together. So there will be a couple of uh, videos in this. Hi everyone and welcome back. So in the last video, we were able to publish the React package. Okay. Now what change I want? I mean, this is like I did everything manually. This is my code. And what I did is I just created a package and then I wrote some script npm publish, npm run build, npm run test and then npm publish. That is was able to publish my package. So I can show you that again. So what we were doing is npm publish and that was just doing all these tasks and was able to publish. Now my next goal is to automate this whole process because I don't want to do this whenever I change the code. I should be able to create a new version. I don't need to do npm publish and npm login thing. So what we can do is we can just uh, transfer this task to the GitHub Actions. So GitHub Actions will run these scripts. So here we can have a GitHub Actions for GitLab. There is a GitLab CI for uh, Jenkins. All these things you can use. So I'm using GitHub Actions because I'm publishing package to the GitHub. You can use the same thing to publish the package to the NPM registry. The only thing is here I am, if you see package JSON, you need to specify your publish config that here I am targeting uh, my registry as a GitHub registry, GitHub NPM registry, because GitHub allows you to publish the NPM packages, same as the npmgs.com. So this is required. And then currently we are doing NPM login and NPM publish. I want to just change this thing. To the GitLab CI. So how GitLab CI works, uh, I think very simple. What we need to do is we need to create a dot GitHub folder. This is how it works is we create a GitHub folder inside that you can create a workflows and then you can create a publish dot YML. Right. This is what you do. And then in this you will define the steps. I mean, it is same as any other any other CI pipeline, you do npm install, change the node version, then check out code, do npm build, I mean check out code npm install first, npm CI, npm build, npm run test, all these things are happening, npm publish. But here is the catch. We need to set this npm token or inside a GitLab secret, sorry, GitHub secret, so that when this process runs, it should be able to get the auth token to publish the package to the GitHub NPM registry. So that we are going to set in the GitHub uh, repository secrets. So this is what we can do is go to the settings here, secrets and variables, actions, and go to new repository secret, add NPM token here, and set the value here. Okay. This is how. You need to set your NPM token. NPM token is the same for which you are getting from your developer settings. Here you have already created the NPM token. Classic, I already have one token. So I this is how you can get the token. Now go to your repository. And let's play with the workflows, okay? because here we want to automate this whole process. So here what I do is dot GitHub workflows publish dot YML. And I mean, what these workflows are. So whenever you do pull request, merge request, or commit to the branch, these are called triggers. On these triggers, you can run the CI process. So what I'm saying is this publish, this particular workflow I want to run only when you push onto the React UI package or when you there is a pull request or merge request then only this thing will run and it is using just Ubuntu latest, these actions, setting the node version, doing npm install and npm test. These are the basic tasks only for build. So this is the build job. 
and in the published job what i'm doing is it needs build that means build should be successful then runs on ubuntu it is action checkout setting up the node 16 uh, and it will just do the it will specify okay this is my registry url it will do npm install git config npm version and then git push it will create a tag and it will push it and then it will publish it and here we are specifying the npm token so this is the holy grail because i faced a lot of issues in setting up i can show you how much failures i got while sending this actions you can see there are some important aspects so when you follow them you won't face any failure one particular thing is okay what branches we have on this i have five branches i am publishing the react ui package first of all this branch should be protected and I mean, if it is a default branch or not, that doesn't matter. It should be protected. So what I'm doing is this is the branch rule. And I added a protection rule that any branch which is ending with underscore a dash package will always be protected. So only the when you run the CI for the protected branch, they have access to the GitLab secret. They have access to the because the bot is running. The GitHub bot is running that has access to the workflow actions and second important thing is go to actions and here general inside this you can see the workflow permissions important part very important here you need to give a permission read and write permission so what it will do is once you do this it should be able to do the read and write so when you do the npm publish it should be able to write workflow have access to the write uh, write of the package it can read it and it can also create a new version and publish to the github npm registry so this is important once these two things are done your branch should be protect, protected and you have given your workflow because workflow has a bot workflow has a jobs and jobs are being run by the bot and that bot should have permissions you should be able to do now this is my workflow which uh, we are going to go through a simple thing is this is node auth token we already have npm token in the gitlab github secrets so the next thing is after doing this is i will just change the code a little bit or maybe add a readme file i will update the readme so that uh, you can get a proper documentation i will also increase the package version to 3 I mean, you can also auto automate this incremental also. Get push origin. So I'm doing a push to this branch. And in this workflow action, we have this action already defined that whenever you push to this branch, these both the jobs will run. What are the jobs? First is the build. Another is a publish group. I mean, package or something. So let's go to our GitHub actions and you can see this is the new version is the commit and it is build build is uh, publish is dependent on the build job. It needs to be successful first and it is doing the basic thing npm ci npm run build npm run test. So you can do it is running the just test cases for us. It is successful. Now it is running the publish job npm install git config it will set the git config user and it created a tag and npm publish so it is in the npm publish we are again doing the build test and all and we got an error publish fail cannot publish our existing version uh, what i'm publishing version 1.4.2 I think I have increased the version in the 1.0.3. Okay. Okay. I missed the package update. That is the problem here. Git add. I will update the package version. And I push the code. Now let's see it again. And here we go. We can see that 0.3 pop version has been published. Everything is successful now. And we can see that published package also here. 
we go to the packages react package and 1.0.3 is there and now we can use them whenever you want I mean uh, all these things are automated uh, we can also increase the package versions and inside this workflow you can define the actions either you can manually create a release through the UI I mean if you do push release like you if here also you can create a release and on release so I can create a draft a new release here choose a tag I can create a new tag 1.0.4 and I can create a, I mean, just define, okay, what all changes you are doing and then publish a release. So this is also a GitHub action, like, like you do push, merge request, pull request when that is merged. Similarly on release, this is like a, another GitHub actions and on that you can run the CI. So this is another definition like on release, whenever you are manually creating a release, then this rule you can define on this particular action, then these packages will be deployed. And I will just publish this package. I mean, push this, and then I can create a new version. 1.0.3 is already there, so I need to change it. Okay, coming back here. I can create a new release here that would run the CI because we have changed the action draft a new release and it's already there we can just create a 1.0.5 publish the release so when the release is published your action should trigger you can see this is triggered so this is just overall demo uh, now we are able to automate the overall uh, the publishing the package through the GitHub actions. That's it guys. Thank you everyone. In the next videos, we will see uh, how you can deploy the Nest.js package in the same process.